Hello again and welcome back to the channel. Well, today I've got this little uh, beggar out that refuses to fire up. As you can see, we've got nothing. Not even any power. Fresh battery in there as well. It's the Fluke 12, which to be honest, is a very good meter, or was a very good meter. It did everything I ever needed. AC, DC, capacitance check, obviously resist the check or whatever you ever need really but I thought today I'd have a little look see what's going on with this little uh, so and so as you can see she's had a bit of a hard life I mean look at the rear don't ask where the screws have gone for it because they went missing years ago has done a lot of work this thing not really radios as such main, well maybe a few bits and bobs of them but mainly like consoles no gaming consoles I used to do a lot with them a good few year back a heck of a lot and this was its probably main purpose anyway what we'll do we'll flick this open we'll have a look see what's going on here hey guys let's have a look inside her I think see that's where the battery is stored to be honest it's just at the, the top of there right inside looks actually okay there at the moment it doesn't look too doesn't look nothing obvious that's for sure there's a bit of corrosion on that battery terminal like yeah it feels weak that I'll probably put a bit of uh, solder on that area there to strengthen it up because it's a bit mm. Anyway, let's have a little look underneath there, you right? I guess those uh, cutouts of her popping it up, which seems to be about right. And there's a bit on that end. Right, we've got 9th, that must be 91, that'll be about right. Let's have a little look what we've got on here. It doesn't look bad to be found there. I'll tell you what I do see. Can you see on the board there? We've got 1989. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit past its sell by date there. It's just an area I didn't like the look of around out here. Can you see on there, guys? Hopefully you can. Uh, the rest looks clean, but that... I could do with a bit more light on this really, I'll just try and boost that light up a bit on this... Um... Oh god, that's alright isn't it? Jeez. It's quite handy having this actually. I bet you're all frowning at you guys, aren't you, at the moment we're doing this, but... Right, that's coming off the negative there, isn't it? Off the battery. There's a slight bit of corrosion on the back of that board there. I could do with uh, some way of checking that for continuity, but I actually haven't got anything, can you believe it? How sad is that? Mm, might be worth running a little link on that, just to... Put my own mind at rest because, like I say, there was a bit of a, a bit of crap on that board around that area. I wonder if it's a bit off a leaky old battery or something, but I can't even remember even being a leaky battery in there, to be honest. Uh, okay, now you just pull this out new battery out. It doesn't look too bad in there. There's a bit of rust on the back, like, but it must be off an old battery. Like I say, I've had this that long. I think I want to run a little bit of jumper there, see if I can find me some of my old Kyna wire because it's really thin and uh, we'll pop back in a second guys um, I've cut a bit of cable I've actually found a little trimming tool here as well that's an old one eh, look at the end of it <laughs> not much left of that anymore god I don't know whether that, jeez uh, 
could be 80s that one, I have no idea. Anyway, I found it in the box when I was hunting for some uh, solder and a few bits and bobs. I even found some old solder wick. That's an old thing, isn't it? That, look at that there. Uh. Jeez. Anyway, I don't need that, I don't think. It's too thin to do any repair and it's so close to this area which goes straight through here and I can't see the point in I'm just gonna bridge it with a piece of a piece of kai and uh, that I've dug up and uh, I've trimmed it about the right size and I've tinned both ends off and we'll we'll try it in and see if it works uh. if it doesn't work it doesn't matter really is this hot enough It'd be, it'd be helpful if I switch it on here. Eh? Hopefully I'll have a bit of heat now, eh guys? <laughs> we'll see. Let's check it. Yeah, it must be. I've lost the actual um, <laughs> the sponge, the wet sponge out the centre of here from the old... Uh, this is actually an old Radio Shack one, can you see? Uh, I don't know if you've got a bit of a focus on that there. Just says underneath there, Radio Shack. Yeah, very old that. I've had... <laughs> this is 80s, this. Definitely, I've had it years. Um, over here, used to call. We used to get a lot of Radio Shack gear from a place called Tandy. Yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna tin these two areas at where I think it's shot. It's about there where it's gone. I'm not. In fact, looking at it now, it is. I'm sure of it. So I'm just gonna tin here. I'm gonna go from here. And I'm gonna go to. Oh God, that's a stink, isn't it? It's been a while since I've had a. Maybe a bit too much on there, get a bit off. Nah, I've been here enough of that. So I'm gonna go from here. I'll put a, just a dab on there. That's it. And we'll pull that around there and we'll just jump onto here. Get out of there. Maybe a bit too much for this area. I'm just hoping this doesn't catch in the, this this little crevice. I mean, the chance of this working is going to be quite remote anyway, but we'll certainly give it a go. That looks pretty much tidy to me, that. A little bit of that so it doesn't catch. Yeah, that looks somewhere near that. Let's have a little look to see if that's going to develop any issues around what, that region. No, definitely not. I don't know what I do here. I'm just going to. There's an area here I don't like the look of. It's the top of this here. Looks weak. Let's just see if this will tin to itself. If you give it a quick rub, it'll take. It is. There we are. Just a bit on that area there, seems a bit weak. Anyway, let's give this a quick go. Eh? What have we got to lose? Oh, there we are. That's it. Oh, that feels a bit tougher now, like. Just a bit weak on that top, it was, where it's a bit of corrosion. Holy shit. Well, I never. 
Oh, hang on. Well, we need another look at this, but it's actually powering up, believe it or not. So that was a knackered tracer. Or rotten, should I say. Let's have another look in it. Right, I had a bit of a faff about with this. And I noticed when I switched it on, I was pressing down hard. Which, um, it was actually making a bit of contact with those switches. Um, now, underneath here, in between this area, you have this contact pad. Now this contact pad basically goes on those tracers on the back of there. Which in turn, obviously, hits the board on the other side of here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to try and put a bit of solder on this area here. Let me just make sure that uh, on this area, just to try and just give it a bit more compression. You can see on this pad as you. You're getting that there, it's got like a lot of indentations on it, and it looks a bit it doesn't look probably doesn't look bad on camera, but it does look a bit worse for wear there, you know. I mean, I dare say you could probably buy this, but mm, mm, maybe not. So, like I say, what I'll do, I'll um, I'll just put it just a quick tin on these just to lift it just a fraction, not much. One. Two, three, four, five, 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 six. Now, let me check that back one there. Ah, oh, they look quite raised. Just a fraction, I mean, not even. That's it. Let's have a look at that now. You see there, right, right. This area here, I've just put a, a, a dot of solder all the way along, just just freshen her up a little bit. And uh, obviously just a lift, it's just a, oh, it's just a fraction. But other than that, that looks all right. I'll tell you what, there's another area I don't like a lot of there. Here. That's it. Just have a look around this area. So anyway, we'll try that guys. Um, give it a go, eh? So, I'm just going to give this a little bit of a, a tiny clean. Obviously you've got the same at the top of there for the um, LCD display. That seems to be working alright to be honest. Let's see how it goes anywhere. Like I say, there's nothing much to lose. We're in. got one working we just haven't got them all working right I'll pop this off because I'm right guys I stripped it down again there to check the switching and to be honest it's completely sealed and it's gonna be right pain in the backside to even strip it down but I did notice once you flick it on we've got no big action ever if you just press a bit harder everything seems to operate can you believe it? I mean, the thing actually works. Continuity is actually working, the buzzer's working fine. That's your memory. Your minimum and your max. That's working fine. The max is working fine. Minimum, max. It's a bit, a bit awkward with it, but yeah, you just got to hold them in a bit. Uh, <laughs> press quite hard, to be honest. Actually, it's getting better. 
And the two main ones, capacitance and resistance. Oh, it is getting better, that. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. I have no idea how accurate this uh, power supply is, but let's just see what she does. Eh? We'll show her in there, just 13.85. Let's just see if it uh, gets confused with the uh, reverse polarity. See if it's still. Yeah, it's still. Yeah, it's still minus enough. That looks fine, isn't it? I presume the actual meter's working fine. I'll turn that power supply off. So. On that note, guys, it's actually, I think it's actually working. It seems a bit rusty, a bit slow here and there, and the buttons are still a bit, you know, they don't really want to be doing too much. If you've got to press them hard, minimum max is working fine. Switching between capacitance and resistance. Oh, there we are. We've got range working now. Just. Yeah, I think it's just a bit of shift between these um, switches, but they're actually sandwiched behind this, like, um, weird sticky stuff, so I don't know what to do with that. Oh, there we are. Ohms. Yeah, it's it. To be honest, it was a mul multiple of all sorts of issues with this thing by the looks of it. But um, it's actually almost working. I'll probably get another one, but I will keep this to hand like for now. Cause to replace these, I mean, something like that now is hundred and fifty pounds uh, UK pounds or thereabouts in dollars. Or uh, you know, maybe it's a bit less. Um, I have no idea what I paid for this. I know it was expensive in its day. Yeah, it's good to see it going. Yeah, interesting indeed. Right guys, a bit of magic eh? It works. As you can see, I've even given it a quick clean as well. Hee <laughs> hee! Yeah, I've even given it a little sparkle. But yeah, we've got uh, success. I think it's, apart from these, like I say, they're a bit, um, need to be pressing a bit harder than usual. They're getting better all the time actually. Yeah, it's 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 actually selecting between capacitance and resistance quite easily now. It's just, I think with a bit of use, it might be not so bad. I think it helped though raising those um, traces on that weird little contact do for whatever they call it. But yeah, it's it's working. What more can I say? we we'll try it out on a few bits and bobs there, and see how we get on. But uh, a little bit of a success story that, I'm sad that. The time it's took me to prat about with this, behind the scenes I'm on about. Yeah, mooching about here and there, trying to find bits to repair it, which is... And I said to you, didn't I, I would never bring a solder iron in here. And straight away I've, um, I've broken that rule. But, never mind. And I don't know guys. Catch you later. Bye for now. Thanks for viewing.